All right, everybody. Today um, we're looking at what would be like a flex plate on an automatic, uh, if you're an automotive um, guru, or a flywheel on a standard. Um, but as you know with the boat, you know, it's neither a flywheel or a flex plate per se because there's no torque converter and there's no clutch. What we do get out of this device on a boat is it allows it to start just as a standard or automatic transmission would minus the transmission. All right, so the reason I'm doing this video today is if you're having issues, and this kind of applies to both uh, GM and Ford users, this is something to consider. It's gonna be really hard uh, to see this unless you take your starter off, but I made it really easy for my viewers today, and I'm actually showing you what your starter will do if it um, is engaged while the uh, flywheel or uh, flex plate is already spinning. And you can see here what it does is that arm coming out of the starter uh, engages and essentially grinds off uh, some gears. You can see kind of how it starts right about where my finger, my thumb is right here and basically someone started it while it was running i'm not sure who exactly that was and you can see it's full torque as the starter is spinning and then let off so you can see all it takes is one run and that's what it does if you were to try to start your boat um, on any of these teeth it may start these three right here if you were to try to start your boat on them there's a good chance you're going to hear a, um, a loud grinding noise because the gear may not mesh all the way on this side here. So this is just just to count here for everybody and my, my viewers here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 teeth that are essentially compromised here. Now let's spin this thing around. And you'll see more. So we counted 12, right? We actually have some more. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I'm not going to bore you all with counting these. But check out over here. There's more of them. And you can kind of see that these are... All these teeth actually kind of have a little bit of wear on them. We've got a few down here that are okay. And then here's some more. All right, so the um, the idea here is people, when you're watching this, don't start your boat while it's already running. I know we got a lot of quiet boats out there. They engineer them really good um, so you don't hear them. But always check your gauges. Uh, make sure you um, your boat is actually on. You know, check your RPM gauges and or your RPM gauge and make sure it's your your boat isn't physically on before starting it again because um, getting to this piece here is in the back of your boat I meaning you got to pull your engine you got to pull your engine coupler off um, yeah it's a mess so you really don't want to have to um, you know worry about this so you know you can see on mine you pretty much spun it about halfway I'd say this boat was probably started at least four times while running. Yeah. I mean, this one's, it, this, this is pretty well chewed up. You can see, I think we're back to the original one right here. That is just about a third. That one right there where my thumb is about half of the gear. So, yeah, uh, this one's going to get replaced. The... The good thing about buying these, if you're going to find one that's used, just have the person who's um, offering it um, give you, you know, a, basically a visual guarantee so um, there's no teeth on it. I would say, you know, old stock is just as good as the, the new. Um, it's just have them do a visual on it, see if you can get some up-close pictures, and definitely don't buy anything that has gouges on it like this. 
Um, wouldn't be surprised if you see it out there, so keep an eye out. This is what you, you know to look for. Uh, you want these teeth nice and flat. Let's turn it around so you can see what it looks like. We have some good fresh teeth. It's kind of what you're, you'd expect right there. See on this side, this is where the, the starter doesn't engage. you got nice teeth there. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. As always, uh, like if you thought the video was helpful. Subscribe, all that good stuff, all right? Look forward to the next video coming up. Have a good one.